Oak Hill Academy is well known for producing several great NBA players, everyone from Carmelo Anthony and Kevin Durant to Carolina greats such as Jerry Stackhouse and Ty Lawson. Despite all the glamour and glitz surrounding the prestigious basketball program, Oak Hill is anything but glamorous and glitzy. The school sits on 420 acres of pure mountains and boards approximately 150 students grades 8 through 12. Soon to be UNC point guard Nate Britt has wanted to attend Oak Hill since his freshman year of high school and after taking a visit this past spring he knew exactly what he had to do. Pack up his things, say goodbye to his family and make that move to Math of Wilson, Virginia all to prepare himself for the next step in his career as a Carolina Tar Heel. Um, I think it's, it was the best opportun opportunity for me to prepare for going to Carolina next year. I think that was the, the biggest reason why I wanted to come. And as far as it being like on the mountain away from everybody, I kind of like that because it's, it's slowed down. Um, back at home, everything is fast in the city, so I like everything being taken down a notch. Um, I like being away from everyone because uh, I'm like a loner, I guess. Like I, I get along with the teammates and everything fine, but I like being to myself a lot. Nate's dad, dad called me uh, last year. He said his son was Nate Britt, and I knew who Nate Britt was, and said Nate's always wanted to go to Oak Hill since the ninth grade. And of course, I didn't know that, but of course, I talked to Nate and his dad and said, what are your reasons for leaving? And it was mainly the basketball, just because he's a good student. He, he felt like our style of play was a little different than what they did for three years. He felt like he was leveling off a little bit. Whether he was or not, I don't, I'm not the judge to say that. He felt that, and his dad felt that. His mom was a little, she wasn't sure if she wanted to leave home, you know. She knew he was going to leave next year anyway, but to lose him a year early, you know, when he's growing up, she's expecting to have her son until he graduated from high school, and then here he's saying, I want to go off to a boarding school. So she was the last one to sign off on it, but it took, it probably was in the middle of the summer before he said, I'm definitely coming, coach, but uh, I need a, I always, I need a point guard to build my team around, and our point guard last year graduated, and so Nate was the guy I thought would be perfect, and he's been great for us. Everyone's competitive, everyone's confident, so it's a, the biggest thing here is getting everyone to mesh so quickly, and you know, it's always a challenge, and, and I think that's the, the fun part, and people just watching people grow and, and gain that, that desire to win and want to win every game and, and you know, just want to be the best. At the beginning of the year, it was, it was tough. Um, Everybody had to get used to everybody. Everybody had to learn how everybody play. So at the beginning, it was like tough just to get used to everybody because everybody at, at their old school, everybody the man. So, so getting here, like you losing some shots, but again, it's something new. So, you gotta get used to it when you get to college. So. I get caught in y'all. <laughs> you like some of backwards to the wall. You like, I see my house. Whoa, whoa, like, whoa. Oh, oh, somebody, somebody took my What's that? You're in? Yeah. Ryan got kicked up. But I volunteered. I thought Donovan got kicked up because he was Donovan, Donovan almost got kicked up. We almost. Um, yeah. I went first. They wanted me to rank who my favorite students were. <laughs> so They wanted you to do that? Yeah, so I told them who the top five were, but I wouldn't tell them six through twelve. Um, she said they were like, his school was one of the most successful, so she wanted to go by his and see why it was so successful the way it was. <laughs> Alex, I respect you for just, you just not going to clap anyway. I mean, there's nothing I can say. You're not going to clap for your class. They clap for you. So like I said, 50 multiple choice. You have an essay involving opportunity costs. And one more, but they, I mean, no, it's never taken more than 45 minutes. I don't care if you exempt it. I just want to save paper. So if you're not going to take it, it's fine. I just won't run off the number of copies. So tell me tomorrow. I'm going to exempt it. Okay. You're exempting it? It was quick. I don't really feel like, you know, if he's been homesick or something's bothering him, he hasn't shown it. You know, he's been, you know, great to live with, no problem in the dorm, and he's really good in class. You know, he's one of my better students in class. and. 
you know, he does what we ask. He works really hard in uh, practice. So he's been, he adjusted well. He's, he seems really focused and knows that he wants to use this time to get better and gain weight and, you know, just get ready for college. One of the things that immediately stood out about Britt to coaches and players alike at Oak Hill was his leadership qualities, both on and off the court. Britt was the only player out of a 12-man roster to be unanimously voted as captain by his teammates. He's probably the key to our team. You know, his stats, when you look at stats, you're like, oh, man, he's averaging 9 or 10 points a game and, you know, 5 or 6 assists, but we can't play without him on the floor. The other guys I have, I've tried. If he's in foul trouble or whatever, I take him out of a game, we're a completely different team. And we have good players around him. I think that's another thing that attracted him to Oak Hill. He knew he was going to have guys of his caliber around him to play with, and he's not going to be called upon when he gets to college. He doesn't have to score 20 a game for his team to win. He just got to run the team and be the point guard. And for us, he's a facilitator. He's the guy that makes us go on offense. And then he's, I have a good relationship with my point guard usually, and Nate's a great kid. I enjoy the time I've spent with him so far, I enjoy, not just on the court, but off the court. It was one of the, you know, first things we talked about in the first week, like, you have to lead the team. You know, whether you had planned on doing it or not, it needs to be your job. You know, if we're going to be good, you're our point guard, you need to be the leader of the team. He leads us. You know, he's probably the leader on the team. Uh, he keeps us focused. Um, he just keeps us all together because, like, we get out of hand sometimes because all of us used to shoot him, but he's the one that keeps us all together and keeps our head together. He, we always joke around it like he's the oldest on the team, so we always joke to him like he's like our daddy and stuff. But um, yeah, he is like the captain, like he um, fusses at us, he's the only one that fusses at us. Um, he's like more mature than everybody else. Everybody else like joking around and stuff, but Nate's the only one that like to stay focused and he keeps us on task. I think it, they had, my father had instilled in me when I was young, because um, I've always been a point guard, so I always had to be like an extension of the coach on the floor and stuff like that, so. When I was young, I think he kind of kind of forced it on me. Yeah. And as I got older, it just became natural. The only part I think that was harder for me was being more vocal. Yeah. I'm not always vocal. I lead more by example and stuff like that. Like after you go here, all the like, players that went here like respect you for it because of like, how it is. Mm. Is there like a family in that regard too? Yeah. Do, are, do you talk, do they come ever um, or do you talk Taiwan. to them? Well, I already knew Taiwan before mm -hmm. I came here, but. I've talked to Taiwan a couple of times. He was in that Elite 24. I talked to him out there. I don't have to room with anybody. The, the double rooms are a little bit bigger, but it's like a bunk bed. I they make you room with someone? Like yeah, um, like, I think it's six single rooms. Everyone else. And we have 12 players, so mm -hmm. everybody else is like a, yeah. OK, I'm going to have to ask this, and I need you to be honest with me. OK. SpongeBob slippers? Yeah. Nate, can you pull those out? What is that? <laughs> I love these slippers. I don't watch SpongeBob anymore, but but this is <laughs> I love cartoons. I always draw cartoons, so this is amazing. I have to have SpongeBob slippers. Okay, I just wanted to I just wanted to make sure you opened up to them and you weren't like no somebody oh, left yeah, those here. Since okay. always gives me a whole lot of. Yeah, well, I think if you'd ask him, I think he'd want to be more of a consistent jump shooter. So, and you know, we're kind of on him constantly about knowing when to pull up and not get too deep in the lane. And those are things I think he knows he wants to work on. So it's the main thing. And he, you know, he's put some weight on, but he, he is a little skinny. So you know, to put some muscle on and get ready for the ACC, it'll be another thing that'll help him. He's grown up a lot as a player. He's gotten stronger in the weight room. He spent a lot of time in the weight room and. He knows that's important to us and it's going to be important to him in college. So I think he's just for the first time he realizes how important that is. Uh, getting his body right physically and being in shape all the time and getting stronger all the time. Because when he gets to college, he's going to be a freshman and he might be going to get senior some nights. And, you know, high school right now, he's a senior, so he's the older guy. But next year it all changes. So I think he realizes that's important too. And he's worked on speed, agility, a lot of stuff, different stuff besides just his basketball skills. but. He's really, I think he's going to develop into a really good player in college. As for what Britt hopes to take away from this experience and with him into his freshman year at the University of North Carolina, you guessed it, his leadership ability. Um, just to be as much of a leader as I can, like I am here, um, it'll be a new team, a new setting, just like the adjustment I had to make coming here. Yeah. But I think that's the biggest thing I want to do is just show Coach that I can lead the team and whatever he needs to get done, I can do it.